Hey everybody, welcome to my graphic novel review of Captain America by ta Coates. So this book has been something that I have been wanting to read for a while. Um, I would always been, I've heard kind of mixed things about it and I've just been really wanting to uh, dive into it and just see what, uh, what's been going on with this series. Um, I know it came out, I think a couple of years ago at this point. Um, so I'm always late to the game. Like I mentioned in my last video when it comes to comics, but, uh, you know, the artwork by the covers by Alex Ross uh, really caught me. And I was really have been interested to see what ta Coates does with uh, Captain America. Before we dive into the book, uh, of course, I want to give a shout out to the creators because, you know, they're the ones who made this happen. So uh, I'll put a list up right here. You know, there's ta Coates. Alex Ross did the covers. Adam Kubert uh, did a lot of the art. And uh, there's some other artists and uh, letters and everything in here that I really want to make sure get the, the credit. So again... Go always go give them a follow on social media or whatever and, uh, you know, show them some support because, you know, these are the people that uh, bring us these uh, comics and whatnot. So the first thing I wanted to do is kind of go into my personal history with ta Coates um, and just how I feel kind of going into a lot of this. Um, so it may get a little political, um, but I mean, this is a political book, so I mean... That's it's going to come up. Um, I'm happy that I waited till. Well, I didn't wait, but I'm happy that I got to reading this book at this time in my life that I did, which is pretty recently. Um, I read it a couple months back. I think when this one first this hardcover edition first came out is when I uh, is when I started reading the book. Uh, this is only the first volume. And uh yeah, I'm happy that I read it when I did because um, if I would have read this back when I was still in college or whatever in my you know early to mid twenties, I don't think that I would have really appreciated some of the good things in it um, because I probably just would have written it off just because it was written by Tanahasi Coates or whatever, and I was a little bit more immature with some of my views and whatnot, but I mean, it's all part of growing up. Your views evolve and everything, and I think that you can see a lot of those dumb takes that I had um, in videos like the first crossover episode I did with Apollo City Comics um, a while back. It's an old podcast episode. Um, so I'm happy that I read it now. And, uh, also something else I wanted to point out is that a lot of people, I think that the comic book review community kind of has a problem with this. You know, a lot of people really bring in a lot of negative culture war things into, um, comics that don't need to be there and really ruin the fun and kind of make it hard for you to enjoy anything. Um, because you're always looking at it through this critical eye of that, you know, everything's this political agenda that's out to get you or something, or they're, you know, they're doing all these things. And, um, and I'll just say this about some of the people who I've seen that talk about this, have talked about this book in a more negative way. I don't think they've even read ta Coates. I think that they have or they've really done a lot of digging into his work, maybe just seen a few like interviews with him or whatever, where he said something that they didn't like. And they automatically wrote off this story because of that, you know, their preconceived notions of him, um, which is unfortunate. You know, I don't think that, I think that's not fair to the other creators in the book that have had, um, you know, put their time and effort into the, into creating this. So, you know, that sucks. But from my perspective, I was lucky enough. I have read Tennessee Coates. I, I read a, a couple essays and, and short stories by him in, in college and, and whatnot when I was uh, studying English. And, um, you know, his his nonfiction work is uh, I think that's a separate thing. I think that's what kind of people wrap him up with so much. Um, and he says some things I agree with. I agree with a lot of things he says. And he says some things that I don't agree with. Um you know, when it comes to his, uh, his nonfiction work. Um, but with his fiction work, I don't remember the short stories that I read by him or, or his fiction work. Um, cause I was reading so much stuff at the time. You're kind of inundated with stuff to read. Um, I just remember that I wasn't a big fan of his fiction work because I felt like he got so wrapped up in his political 
messaging and themes that he was trying to work into the story that they kind of overtook it and ultimately didn't do his stories any favors. Um, so I just thought they kind of came off as a little clunky in that regard. So when I heard that he was really wanting to write some comics, though, I, I was genuinely curious to see how he was going to handle some of these characters. I know that um, he wrote the Black Panther run with, I think, Brian Stelfreeze did a lot of the work, which uh, Brian uh, Stelfreeze is one of my favorite artists. So um, I, I really want to get into that. I know an omnibus came out, I think. Yeah, I think the omnibus already came out, so I will be checking that out. But uh, and then he was announced that he was going to write Captain America, and I was really curious to, for that because I wanted to know what he was going to do with Captain America. Um, seeing that you know Captain America represents a country which you know has a ton of skeletons in its closet with the way it treats uh a lot of its people and everything. So, um. I really wanted to know what he was going to do with Captain America as a character. Was uh, he going to um, deconstruct him or was he going to fundamentally try to change him? You know, what does he understand Captain America? Does he understand like any of these comic characters that he's writing? Because, you know, he comes from an area that uh, doesn't deal with, you know, comic book heroes with his fiction work and everything. And I don't know if he's, if he was a comic fan before this or anything. So whenever an outside writer comes into comics, I always kind of have that feeling like, are they going to understand these characters? What are they going to do with them? You know, so it's always interesting to see how people who are not huge comic book fans kind of interpret some of these characters. Um, but then again, I, like I said, I don't know if Coates was a, was a comic book fan before this or not. So that's my thoughts on Tanahasi Coates, you know, just kind of going into this to give you an idea of what my mindset was going into this and everything. And, uh, you know, I was more curious and interested than anything. And like, you know, again, I'm glad that I kind of grow, I've grown up a little bit uh, before reading this book because I feel like that helped me appreciate a lot more parts of it. So a quick summary of the story, um, no spoilers. I, you know, I enjoyed it. I, I, I'll give you my thoughts real quick on there. I enjoyed it for the most part. It's an interesting setting. It takes place after um, Hydra had taken over the United States for a period. I think that's when the, they did the whole like Captain America said hail Hydra and everything. That really famous uh, comic book uh, panel that became a meme for a little bit. Um, so there is some backstory you have to kind of read up on. I just went to the wiki and uh, kind of caught up on a few things i mean it's nothing it's not enough for you to like have to go back and read everything um which is good i mean it doesn't need that and i think that post this hydra invasion kind of gave a really good um it laid some pretty good groundwork for this story so in the story the united states is back to where um back to normal i mean as close to normal as, as it can get after uh this what happened and Cap is kind of, he's not really trusted by the public um, because I, from what I understand, he was taken over by Hydra or something. He was brainwashed, something like that. So he's kind of trying to find his place back in this post uh, Hydra invasion America and kind of maybe try to repair his reputation. And there's this, uh, everything's still a mess. They're trying to piece, put the pieces back together. And it's a good setting. You know, you kind of see Steve once again, he's kind of lost. Um, he's a man out of time. Once again, it almost feels like, so that's a really cool, um, thing that I think that Coates did with this setting is that I, he really captured, uh, caps, um, the kind of lost soul that he is, um, that, uh, you know, he was taken out of his original time and, uh, he was put in this modern world, and now he's in like a post uh, invasion America that's uh, you know different to him once again. And he's trying to again, like I said, try to pick up all the pieces and everything. You see a lot of characters that you expect to come across in this story. You know, uh, General Ross, um, Sharon Carter, um, and they they're all they're all good. They're all good in this story. Um, I think that they all. Uh, do a pretty good job as, as supporting characters and everything. Nobody feels really wasted or anything like that. Well, maybe a few characters feel wasted, but um, it's still cool. So, I mean, overall, though, with the story, even though I liked it, I do think it's a little slow. Um, there are some parts of the book that do drag, um, but those 
parts are interrupted by some cool uh, surprises and whatnot that that happen. Other things that happen in the story, we get to see Cap as a, as a fugitive. So that's always really fun when Cap's uh, on the run and everything from the government that he is that he works for and all that. And then it really leads to his distrust of the government, which are heavy themes in a lot of his best stories. You know, we saw that in Captain America, the winter soldier and Captain America, civil war and in, in the movies. And that's something I thought they did really well in the movies. And I think they did it really well here. So as far as the story goes, like I said, I like the story. It's a good story, but it is a little slow. It drags in some spots where it does get a little boring, a little too wordy and all that. And I think that's, you know, Coates just being used to writing in a different uh, format or for a different genre. Um, but uh, that the, the the slowness of it all is uh, broken up by some really cool surprises. You know, there's some characters that pop in that I wasn't expecting to see that leads to some pretty good, uh, you know, some pretty good moments in the book that I really liked. And there is some cringe dialogue, you know, towards the end that was kind of getting a little heavy handed and everything and what it was saying. And that's, I think, goes back to, to Coates kind of getting a little too wrapped up in his messaging that he doesn't work his messaging and his his themes very well into his story so that they feel natural. And I think that was starting to come out towards the end of this volume. But with that being said, it's okay to be political in comics. Um, I, I'm fine with it as long as it's done well. I, I think that when it's you know really on the nose and feels like a, a corporate thing that they're just pushing for to make themselves look better than they are, then, then that's not good. I, I don't like that. I don't think anybody likes that. You can really tell that it doesn't feel genuine. It doesn't feel phony. And it can really offend some people, you know, because they, I... You can tell when they're not putting the effort in to represent certain people um, to the best of their abilities when it's more of just a, a, a shallow thing. So, um, but I didn't get that too much in this comic. I, I, for even though, like I said, there is some cringe dialogue towards the end, I think overall the political messaging is pretty well done in this book. And I think it touches upon a lot of current issues. And it's always cool to see superheroes especially uh characters imp as important as captain america deal with modern day issues you know that's that's good for kids to see these characters who a lot of these characters are role models for them or have a big part of their lives deal with modern issues and how they interpret it and you know that brings me to my next point and that a lot of people were kind of split on a lot of people were saying that Coates doesn't understand captain america and some other people said he did I lean more towards that he did. I think he does understand what makes Steve such a great character and that even though the United States has a ton of problems, you know, that you know, a ton of problems that we still shouldn't have to be dealing with today, but we still do. Um, it's really cool that Steve is that kind of represents what America should be, what we should be striving towards. I think that, Coates really understands that and I think that's why you know you see it unfold in the story that they don't want Captain America to be Captain America they want him to be a puppet of the government they don't want him to be what we should be striving towards and I think that the moment that really sold it for me that Coates gets Cap and that he understands Steve as a character is when there's a part where Steve slight spoilers here he's in jail and he's in jail with a lot of famous supervillains um i i don't know if it's the raft or not but he's in prison and it's really cool to see him interact with these prisoners um that you know he would fight and he put there in in this in this super prison you know you see a lot of really famous supervillains that i wasn't expecting to show up in the in this book and that's really cool you see him interact with characters that he doesn't normally interact with and and whatnot and there's a part where guards are abusing these prisoners and Cap sticks up for them, even though they're criminals, that they're these are bad people who have done, you know, terrible things, but he still sticks up for them against, you know, uh authoritarian brutality and everything. And that's really cool. And that's the moment to me that sold it that yeah, Tal Tallahassee Coates does understand Captain America, and he puts him in some really good situations that allows Steve's character to shine. And it also, 
you know, point out some of Steve's flaws. You know, he's a little, he's naive still. Maybe he's a little stuck in his own, his old ways in, in some situations. And that's really good too. That adds character growth and, and all that. With that being said, though, I don't need every Captain America story to be a deconstruction or uh, that political, you know, because um, we got to see the Winter Soldier. Uh, Civil War was even kind of a, a little bit of a deconstruction, too. So, um, you know, some of the most popular Captain America stories have been a, a deconstruction of his character, um, especially recently. So... I don't always need that in a Captain America story, you know. So I think it's all about variety. And the next run that I'm I'm planning on reading to, um, I I'm hoping that it's a little bit more of an adventure thing, and you know we get something a little bit more light, um, because we do need that escapism at the same time from the things that make our world suck. Um, so there's that. But that being said. As a political book, I, I think this does a good job overall. And would I recommend it? Um, I would. Um, if you're looking for a more fun Cap story that you just want something that's just uh, a fun adventure across the Marvel Universe or whatever of Captain America doing Captain America stuff, um, this isn't going to be your book. Uh, this one's a little bit more slow. And it does take its time in some in some spots. With It's a little bit more dialogue heavy. And there is a lot of themes of what's happening in the real world and all that. Um, but if that's something that you want to see, something a little bit more heavy um, and layered with these, these characters, um, this is a book for you. I would recommend it. And I'm excited to see what's uh, going to be going on in the next uh, volume. I think there's three? Or is there? No, I think there's only two volumes for the, the hardcover edition of the Captain America Tennessee coach run. So, um, yeah, I look forward to it. Um, as far as, you know, real quick too, I, I meant, forgot to, to mention this, uh, the artwork. Um, the only criticism I had of the artwork is I wasn't a huge fan of the colors. Um, a lot of the colors were kind of, uh, bland to me, but, uh, other than that, I think the art was, was pretty good. And the covers by Alex Ross, of course, they're great. Cause it's, it's Alex Ross. So, um, yeah, that's it for me on this one. I, uh, like I said, I recommend it if you're looking for a more complex story. Um, if not, it's probably not going to be your thing. And uh, I look forward to seeing what Tana Hesse Coates does with the next one. So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. You know, we're getting pretty close to 100 subscribers, which is really cool. Um, that's nice to see after all these years of, of doing videos on here. You know, we're about to hit that and everything. So, so that's really cool. Um, Make sure you follow me on Instagram um, and Twitch, whatever uh, link I have in the description here. You know, I plan on trying to do something a little bit on each platform, uh, which should be fun. And uh, this Saturday, I'm going to try to stream Redfall on my Twitch channel, which I have linked here. Uh, I've heard mixed things about it, and I was, wasn't really looking forward to it, but I kind of just want to see what's, what's up. So I do want to uh, check that out and see what's going on with that. And uh, I'm going to try to. Uh, it might be a late night stream. So uh, pay attention on my social media networks and everything, and I'll announce that. Um, other than that, I will uh, see you guys next time. Take care. Reporting live from the third planet, from the black hole. It's the astro flowing through the astral. Plain, I maintain this wisdom. I'm the vast. Yeah. Baby, I'm just burying these rappers like a time capsule. Let my mind travel through dimensions. Check this pimping. I'm just trying to find a peace like all of my.